Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video we will discuss the shell, uh, or if you'd like to think of it, the ghost in the shell if you want. <laughs> I am so punny. Uh, and see the different types of the shell and how we can interact with the shell bi-idhnillah and God willing. But before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya'i wal-mursaleen Sayyiduna Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawmid din. Warda Allahumma anna ma'ahum ajma'een, Allahumma ameen. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد We begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter. We thank him for all of his blessings that he has bestowed upon us for they are innumerable. And we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad. Uh, uh, prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his family, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his family. What is a shell, computationally speaking? A shell is a program that allows the user, which is you, <laughs> to interact with the operating system. So let us write that and then we can illustrate diagrammatically. Is a program that allows the user to interact with the services of the operating system or the operating system without the services so how can we represent this diagrammatically uh, let us use this side instead here we have the user he is quite an anorexic user <laughs> But from the shoulders, you can conclude that he actually plays handball rather well. <laughs> and here is the computer. So this will be the computer or the operating system. Let us use the computer for simplicity, which is your operating system, whether it is Windows, Linux or Macintosh. And here is the user. Now the user wishes to interact with the computer, so there must be a bridge so that the user can understand the computer or the operating system and the operating system or the computer can understand the needs of the user. This bridge or this communicative channel is the shell. And we have two different types of shells. So what are these different types? We have the graphical user interface, also known as GUI. Man, I hate that abbreviation. There we go. And the other form, do not worry, we will illustrate both of them, is command shell or command line or C uh, CLI, which stands for command line Actually, let me write this so that we have matching abbreviations. Command line interface, which is uh, CLI, trend, uh, abbreviated to CLI. Mm, perfect. 
and I will write the additional names or the, the synonyms here but in a different color. The other names that you may encounter for this would be the command shell, the command line without interface, <laughs> the terminal, not an airport terminal, the terminal of the computer, <laughs> and console. These are all synonymous with this one. So they refer to the same aspect or the same type of shell. Before we actually see examples for both, uh, both types, I would like to mention the reason it is called the shell is because the program, the shell, interacts with the outermost layer of the operating system. Hence why it is called the shell. I honestly do not agree with that definition or that mentality, but it does not really matter. Now let us cover the graphical user interface shell or the GUI before we cover this one. How am I currently interacting with my computer? I am using a graphical user interface. I, I see a program before my eyes, such as paint. I can minimize this. This is a graphical user interface. I can see the program. Instead of seeing it as source code, I actually see the program unfold graphically. If I minimize this, um, and I, I really need to organize the desktop, I see the desktop, so I can interact with the desktop. I can open the file directory here, access the documents, access the hard disk, and so on and so forth. So I can interact with my computer using this display that you see before you. So what types of services do I have available to me through the graphical user interface? I will demonstrate the types of services by creating a new folder. So if I create a new folder here, this is a service. I just created a new folder. And I can rename this folder like so, or right click and rename. If I can find the command, there we go. Shell test. I can interact with this folder by double clicking. I enter and I see the folder or the contents of that folder unfold, pun intended, before me. <laughs> this is another service provided by the operating system. I can create a file within this folder, right click, new uh, text document, shell, uh, let us call it script.txt. This is another service. I can copy this, control C, or just to show you, right click, copy, and then move to the desktop here, right click, paste, or control V. This is another service provided by the operating system. I can cut this file and paste it here and then overwrite the one present here. This is another service or I can delete this file. So any process you utilize in the graphical user interface is through the presence of the shell. The shell allows you to interact with your computer through the graphical user interface you see here. You are able to move to the start button and uh, maneuver to different folders. You can type in the search here. You can access the toolbar here, or you can even pin programs to the toolbar here, and so on and so forth. 
so you are able to interact with the computer directly using the shell but specifically the graphical user interface portion and I forgot to mention you can also navigate to different directories from this file explorer this is also done through the shell now let us see this approach but from the command line so now we are not using any graphical interfaces we are actually using code how can we access the command line interface if you type command prompt oh yeah maybe i should add this as another name command prompt uh, here you can it is sometimes abbreviated to cmd which stands for command so if you type cmd it appears if you type command prompt it also appears yes so now I am in this folder am I able to maneuver to another folder using the command line interface instead of using the graphical interface yes how through the command cd which stands for change directory or change files uh, folder sorry not files so cd uh, dot 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 let us see where that takes us okay uh, these dots will be explained in the directory hierarchy video, inshallah, which is coming soon. I hope. <laughs> then I can move to, let us say I wish to access the desktop. So it will be cd um, users, this name, very strange name and you can see that i am in the desktop am i able to access the contents of the desktop so similar to this view but in the graphical in the command line yes by typing dir this is the truncated form of directory list in macintosh and linux it is instead ls which stands for list so dir will show me the contents of the desktop folder as you can see it showed me the different fo uh, files here you probably have seen them here as well am i able to create a new folder in the desktop here so let me delete this and let us see the new folder uh, materialize here let us see if I remember the command MK not Mortal Kombat DIR this stands for make directory which is another name for make folder basically MK DIR shell test and there you have it this is also the same command in Linux and possibly Macintosh Am I able to enter the shell test from here? Again, CD shell. I press tap and because the computer is intelligent, it was able to identify what I was seeking. So it filled this automatically when I press enter. Oh, I am in the folder now. So this is where I currently am through the shell am I able to create a file well the problem is I do not know if it is the same command as Linux unfortunately I am more accustomed to the Linux commands than the Windows commands hopefully they are the same mk script.txt uh, okay so possibly touch then oh man mm, 
Okay, maybe... Uh, let us try this. Did it work? Yep, it created a folder. I will have to search <coughs> for the command. I will be right back. Okay, I have returned and I checked the command. It is much different than in Linux. As I said, I am familiar with the Linux commands more than Windows commands. Type null. This is to create an empty file. Script.txt. And there it is. It is a text file and I can, I, I can interact with it. Notepad script.txt has the same effect so you can see I am currently interacting with the operating system but using the command prompt I can also copy and delete but to save you time since I do not know the commands for Windows I know them in Linux and most likely they are not the same <laughs> here you know what let us test it I will test deleting rm script.txt yeah i had a feeling uh, anyways you can uh, i will see if i can find a list of windows commands for the command prompt and attach them with this video that way you you can practice different commands or practice interacting with your operating system through this shell Similarly, this is what we have been accomplishing through uh, the system.out approach. But instead of printing it to the actual command prompt, it printed it using IntelliJ's command prompt instead. However, if we were to compile this program and execute it using the command prompt it will the output will be displayed here so the system that out is related to the command prompt or the command line and so on and so forth I am referring to this Java code because uh, because the this is slightly related to the course I am uh, I am recording for Java but this applies to any programming language if you are displaying an output to the console or to the terminal it is the command prompt of your platform or of your operating system and that is it with regards to this video uh, just to quickly remind you that we can also compile or interact with the java file from here instead of clicking this button here but this is much easier and you if you are if you have been watching my videos for a while now, you would know that I prefer the Zahi way over any way, except for exception handling, that is. And that is it with regards to this lecture. I hope this video was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد